hopefully you can hear this noise coming out of the air conditioner. This is the noise that it makes when the uh, refrigerant is low. Okay, that's the noise we've been hearing for about a week, so. So I'm gonna do a quick video on how to recharge the AC system on a 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. I searched YouTube, couldn't find any specifically on how to do it. The system is new. Um, in 2014, they switched to a different refrigerant come in here and you can see I had to I got these from CarQuest this is the refrigerant used R1234YF and you have to get some type of gauge and hose this is the one that CarQuest sells um, <clears throat> this was about $35 and each one of these cans is about $40 so I'm not exactly sure how low it is it works the AC is working a little bit, so I think it's just a little bit low. Um, but we're gonna just show how to hook it up, how to charge it, and the process that it takes. And hopefully, it'll help you out if your coolant or your uh, Jeep is not cooling really well. So come in here. <clears throat> I'll show you where the low pressure port is. So this is the low pressure port right here on a Jeep Grand Cherokee, 2017 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is what we're gonna be um, using. Now, if you look at this cap, it has a little L on it. And it shows the one, two, three, four YF coolant or refrigerant that is used, okay? So you cannot use the 134R coolant. Um, I'm not a car expert here, but from what I understand, this adapter will not work. You can't even clip it on uh, to the 134 are refrigerants so this is the port you're going to use not this one here if you look up here there's another one that's the high pressure you're not going to hook onto that one you're going to hook on to this one up here okay so you take unscrew the little cap and we'll get the hose and stuff set up okay so we'll just do a quick unboxing here on uh, this gauge set i'll put a link below on the part numbers um, so these come out and this is just a quick connect. Okay. So it's going to snap on there. Also, these little canisters are reverse thread, counterclockwise thread. So it's not a typical twist on to the right. It's going to be twist on to the left. So we'll do that here. Um, I got to cut these zip ties off and we'll get started. All right. Okay. So we are going to attach this canister counterclockwise. Okay, it's on and according to the directions on the box you're supposed to start the car turn the AC on high we'll attach the coupler we're gonna see what the pressure is on the gauge just verify that it's low then we'll um, go ahead and if it needs to be charged we'll start charging it okay so we'll start the car here we start it. You can hear it's still making that noise, so. Max AC. Okay, let's go plug it in. It up. There's a quick connect right here. It just clicks on. Ours is low. So the instructions say uh, we actually kind of did it backwards. The instructions say not to hook the can up until you've checked the gauge, but uh, it's okay to go this way. So we're going to go ahead and give it a shot with this trigger here. We'll watch it. It says 15 to 20 seconds. And rotate the can. We'll check it. Now we're at 30. I'm going to go ahead and take it to about 35, 40. Rotating the can. I'm gonna give it a little more. So we're about 32 probably. The 
can getting really cold. Well, we're about 35. We're going to keep going. Keep going. That's right where I wanted it, about 35. Um, it's staying pretty steady right there. We'll just kind of let it settle. <clears throat> That's, we're in the green. Um, we actually are going to be, we live at a higher altitude than what we're doing this at. So that will allow for some expansion. Um, we live about 4,000 feet higher than we're filling this now, so I'm, that's why I'm leaving it on the low side of the green. That way, as we go up in altitude, it will the pressure will go up. Um, and it, since we're going up in altitude, it does the opposite if you're filling it at high altitude and then you go down in altitude, uh, it's the pressure is going to go down. And I believe that's probably why we were having problems. Is it was working fine at home in Wyoming, but we come down. Uh, to the low altitude in Utah and uh, now it's not functioning quite as well so now that'll make it so we don't have to bleed off pressure when we get home if I leave it kind of in the lower part of the green okay so uh, we're testing it out went for a little drive everything seems to be working great blowing really cold air now so it was just a little low on on refrigerant pressure um, so you can see that as a really easy fix if your Jeep Grand Cherokee 2017, I believe 14, 2014 and up use the same refrigerant. But if you're having the same issue where it's making the weird Darth Vader noises coming out of the dash and uh, not cooling real well when it's hot, uh, that's all it took. So it was about, mm, I think 80, 90 bucks and which is a whole lot cheaper than taking it to the dealer or whatever. So um, anyway, that's that's the story. So just get out and do it. Don't be afraid. Super easy fix.